One. Ah, rat pinch, they scared me. Also, two. Is that spoopifer? Is that spoopifer? We stand Lur here. Hoping that the stream will help and everything will be good. Uh, probably we'll need to take a pause at some point for food, but I will probably forget, so don't worry about it. Long, long, long day, sorry. For, those, for those of you who don't know, uh, my full-time job outside of streaming, I work in a souvenir shop. And it... drags sometimes. Today... Don't worry about it, reference. It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't know why I mentioned it. I shouldn't mention that. Because I know what everyone's going to respond with, and I'm like, no. Um, don't worry. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I shouldn't make a big deal out of it, is what I'm trying to say. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Um, what am I trying to say? Words. Okay, what I might remind you. Fair, fair. Today has dragged on so much, and I'm just. So I found out that my favorite band, which is Italian, is coming to Seattle in October, and the tickets get released on Friday. And I would buy tickets, but I pay for a tattoo on Thursday. <laughs> So I'm like, why did the timing have to be like this? Why? So I am just hoping the concert doesn't sell out until I can get tickets. And then it's allowed to sell out. Who knows? feeling uh, a hyper fixation about my tattoo because I'm super excited I'm really excited but it's three days away and I'm like it's all my brain will focus on even when I'm on my meds and I'm like okay just get through the day get through the day And then today had to be painfully slow. Like, the, there were just like 
hours where literally one person was in the shop. Ooh. Hmm. I need my sister to wake up. So that's my day. How's y'all's? <laughs> The good news is I got a lot of compliments on my crew neck. It was mainly people who knew the, the brand or the, the, the company. Um, so it was just, you know, people appreciating good stuff. Um, but it was nice. It's 10 a.m. I woke up in time for Maya. <laughs> Hi, Rouge. How are you? I hate that I feel so sleepy. I'm like trying to think if I have like any energy drinks or something and I don't and that sucks. I'm like, I just, uh. Sleepy stream. Sleepy stream. I I'm okay. I kind of had a crappy day, um, and I'm hoping streaming will make it better. <laughs> Good idea. <sighs> Yeah, it's, it's just a matter of getting through the sleepy vlog. Just like, push through it, get energy somehow, and then go. <sighs> I can't tell you how excited I am for my tattoo. On Thursday. I'm gonna keep mentioning it. I'm gonna keep mentioning it. Because I get a tattoo on Thursday. I'm here for 30 minutes and I have an online appointment. No worries, Rap Prince. I appreciate you being here. Aww. It's gonna be so good. Yeah, it's a leg tattoo. I don't know how much I wanna say yet. It's a leg tattoo involving paint strokes. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. I'm really fucking pumped. I'm really excited. And no worries, I know I str I've been streaming pretty late for some of y'all, so don't feel bad if you have to dip out of the stream early. I appreciate you being here Anyway, like, I appreciate the good people being around. <sighs> if I could stop yawning. How did I get to 120 followers? What the fuck? When did that happen? 
could have sworn we'd like well thank you I didn't know we had hit that I know that's not a lot but still like 120 Jesus Christ thank you it feels nice I know it's 120 people who are like I like them when was the last time you checked the last time I like well I can see it on my stream manager on my phone when I see the chat but I hadn't like registered last time I like registered it it was like one oh nine ish I don't remember the last time I registered it just registered in my mind that it was like oh 120 people have followed you what <laughs> <sighs> Un follower. Un, un follower. No, the last, last time I checked was like 109 or something like that. Um, I think it was more like 117, but it, for some reason my brain was like, 117 is not a lot. 120, however, It just feels different. I don't know why. It just does. You're like, oh, that's a significant number. At least to me. At least to me it is. So thank you. Thank you all. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> huh. Give me one second. I'm gonna go see if I have anything to wake me the fuck up. Um, give me like two minutes. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I had something. I have these um, water drops. They're like little dissolvable tablets that you put in water to flavor it. This one happens to have caffeine, so. We're gonna give this a shot. Look, it's impressive to me that you stream after work. As someone who can't do a job regularly, I struggle to stream for three hours on days where I had nothing else on. But I also get that streaming is a nice distraction. People really don't get how exhausting streaming is. Yeah, streaming is really exhausting. Before you explained, I was like, drugs, it's drugs. Like, hi, I have, 
have drugs. <laughs> drugs? Drugs. Yeah, streaming is very exhausting. It's, it takes a lot of energy and I'm working in the customer service industry. That takes a lot of energy too. So it's, it's, am I overworking myself? Yes. Do I care? No. Am I going to regret this later in life? Probably, but you know what? We're going to go with it because it's fun and I enjoy doing this even when I'm tired. <laughs> Hi, I'm Maya Maze here for cocaine. Are you constantly exhausted? Try cocaine. Tired of being tired. Hold on, I'm letting you I'm letting you finish that so I can do it before ya. <laughs> We're just gonna watch that dissolve. Oh, do you wanna see sound? Ugh. Mm. Oh, ready? Ready? Hi, I'm Maya Base for Cocaine. Are you constantly exhausted? Tired of being tired? Do you want to see sound? Try cocaine. Please. I accidentally bought way too much. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, sign me up. Uh, welcome to another moment of Maya's stream that's gonna get clipped out of context and it's gonna be played in court one of these days. Maya, is it true that um March 21st of 2022 that on a stream you advertised cocaine? I know you don't, Rouge, but I know other people do. Other people have. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did, but it was satire. Are you sure it was satire? That ending didn't seem like sat. Yes, it was satire. <laughs> For those of you just joining, what have you come into? I have no idea. You've. This is just what the stream is right now, and we're going to go with it, and it's fine, and don't worry. Don't worry about it. You both sent me <laughs> to life in prison for less, to be fair. Fair. Very fair. <laughs> Sorry, I just shifted my... I was trying to shift my chair, and I need the table, and it scared me. So, sorry. Can you finish dissolving so I can drink you, please? That would be great. <laughs> Just start banging my keyboard on the table. <sighs> but yeah. No, I actually, I actually do like these things. Like, I like some of the flavors. Some of the flavors are bad. Um, but I like these things. They're good. They're fun. I bought them because I don't drink water ever, and that's bad. Um, and... I bought these because they flavor water and without, like adding too much to them. So. Alrighty. It's still a little bit dissolving, but it's gonna... Ooh, this is pretty good. I need the caffeine. I'd probably keep drinking it even if it did taste shitty. No, I wouldn't keep drinking it if it tasted shitty. 
I have better. I have no idea what the phrase I was looking for was. My standards are higher than that. <sighs> Alrighty. Let me just rub the sleepiness out of my eyes. And we'll get started. Better alternatives. Thank you. Who's ready for murdering creepy people and a possible zombie? <sighs> Sleepy. Sleepy Maya. I need to change. We're changing that. Oh, I forgot to turn on. Hold on. Hold on. I forgot to turn on. Maybe. Is this working? Do we now have closed captioning on stream? I hope. I don't know. Did that work? I've turned it on, so we're gonna hope that worked. Yay! That's all I wanted. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted the overlay. Cool, 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 cool. I added closed captioning because I want to make my stream accessible. Closed captioning! Alrighty, cool. I completely forgot to do that at the beginning of the stream because this is the first stream I've done it with. So. I guess I need to speak more clearly. Probably. I don't know. We're gonna give it a shot. And hopefully... Auto-captions is not terrible. Who knows? I literally have a blank screen in OBS that's just a list of things I need to turn on, open, and get ready for stream. It's my first screen up I have. Fair! Fair! Mine is just my loading screen. <laughs> and then I have, I, have, I have my loading screen, I have my chat room, I have my game room, and then I have my safety screen. And hopefully we will never have to use the safety screen. Um... Yeah, I, I'm dumb. I just put it all up here. And just forget to do it. Because I'm a mess. Yeah. Sounds about right. Okay. Hello, Liz. How are you? How is things? I don't know why I am talking like this, but we are we are going to go for it. Infectious madness of Dr. Decker. I'm surprised FMV is not a category on Twitch. I'm at work, so hopefully I don't miss too much. No worries. That is what the VOD is for. <laughs> I am. Trying to wake up. I think this is working. I can't tell. <laughs> oh, I am done here now. We are playing game. 
Oh god. Too many fucking screens open. Jesus. <sighs> oh gosh, so much has happened. So much has happened. Last stream. Oh gosh. <sighs> I'm just gonna jump into it at this point because... Midnight. So we found out that David's dead, but not dead. Oh, I did want to ask. I thought about this earlier. Ah, oh, I can't ask that. Damn it. Because um, Bryce said that the coffin was really heavy. But he didn't help her get the corpse out, even though she claimed he did. So I want to know what's in the what's what, what's in the casket. What's in the cask? What's in the box? All right. Let's start with a new, let's start, let's start with a new, new person to start the stream off. We can go back and finish up Claire and Bryce and Jaya later, but, or Jaya. I burned the photos of Hannah. It didn't work. I suppose because the loss was superficial. Mm. The next thing I burned was the rocking chair. That worked. Mm. I've been getting rid of her stuff ever since. There was a day when I attacked a Salvation Army bin, but I gave in. I mean, I would, I would attack. I accidentally put Hannah's diary into a Salvation Army donation bin. They're like huge post boxes with a circular tray that makes sure things spill to the bottom. I tried to get in to get it back, but I gave up. Yeah, I was re referencing Seven. I was referencing Seven. Some of the characters do represent some of said sins. Um, I don't know. I, I, I agree in certain cases, but at the same time, I don't, because I feel like at least two of them would be lust. Then, um, Claire would definitely be wrath. Oh, uh, Bryce might be gluttony. But I see what I see what you're saying. I do. Definitely something to keep in mind. Just an observation. Probably has nothing to do with the story. No, 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 no. That's a good observation. It's a good observation. I mean, we're going into like the supernatural, weird, Lovecraftian stuff, so probably related in some way to that. Have fun with appointment. Good luck. Um, probably in there could be back in an hour. No worries, Rat Prince. Thank you for being here. Much appreciated. You are a great human being. Thank you. Good luck. Okay. I need to re-listen to what he's- oh, uh, diary? I read the last few weeks of Hannah's diary a while ago. I must have accidentally dropped in some clothes for the Salvation Army bin. It's funny, because I wasn't going to read it. She said she'd fallen out of love with me. That she was going to break off the engagement. That she didn't love me anymore. I regretted it. Oof. Oof. That's, uh... Oh, bruh.
can we maybe not talk about Hannah anymore? <laughs> and thanks for the dating advice, by the way. I read the last few weeks of Hannah's diary. I regretted that I mourned for Hannah so long. I regret the grief. I regret Sometimes. all the days I slept through because of it. Had I known she didn't love me anymore, things would have been different. I I'm a bit angry now. If I had that day over again, I'd I may just still pull out in front of the driver. Whoa, too far, my dude. You told me not to look for anyone else until I was ready. So I didn't. I've just been sitting at home, reading Hannah's diary, stewing. I ordered a pizza. Nice girl delivered it. It took a week of days to get that pizza girl to smile. And you know what did it? A tip, as much as the pizza cost. <laughs> so money does make you happy. Yeah, in one form or another. He's just angry about Hannah not loving him anymore. Let him go through the process. Oh, I'm aware. I'm aware. Yeah, he's going through another... He's going through a second stage of grief. Or, not second stage, but a second, like, wave of grief. Like... If I cared about money that much, I wouldn't be working at a supermarket. I'm just trying to care about something at the moment. I read the last few weeks of Hannah's diary a while ago. I must have accidentally dropped in some clothes for the Salvation Army bin. It's funny, because I wasn't going to read it. She said she'd fallen out of love with me. That she was going to break off the engagement. That she didn't love me anymore. I regretted it. back to that one kind of relate to nathan in a way right now i went through a similar thing but at least hannah planned on telling him unlike me with my ex oh i'm sorry to hear that that's yeah <sighs> relationships are hard I, I just back in october ended a really long relationship and So, yeah, relationships are complex and hard and... <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that you had that experience. It makes me very fortunate that I don't know if I want to finish that sentence. Probably, I'm not going to finish that sentence. I'm not going to make this about me. <laughs> We're going to move on. Uh, Decker. I've told you all I know about Dr. Decker. He started out good, then turned a bit crazy towards the end. When you start giving people more problems as a therapist, that's a bit crazy. started out with depression. Now I seem to repeat days. Even if you don't believe the repeat days, 
and I clearly have extra mental health problems that he's given me. I think that he possibly cursed other people, a bit like he cursed me. Sometimes you could see he was bursting to tell me about it, but he couldn't. He was ecstatic with power. hoping you forget. It's going to sound crazy. Dr. Decker said I would never be able to move forward until I came to terms with my grief. And so from this point on, I start to relive the same day over and over again until I made something of it. I believed him. Did Decker hypnotize these people or make them believe they have these powers? It definitely does sound like their powers have manifested somehow with Decker. Um, or Decker had a hand in helping them. I don't know. Because at the same time, I want, I want to take everything at face value, but at the same time, I'm like, well, these are mental health patients. We could, everything we could be hearing could all be delusions. I, it could be extremely supernatural or extremely not. Like, I, you know, I, I've, I've kind of spent a little bit today thinking about this game and the more that I think about it, the more it's like, I don't know what to believe at this point. Because we have no way of them showing any proof. Except for, you know, Claire bringing in her husband in the next act, but... We have to just take them at their word. And Decker clearly was manipulative enough to change how they viewed their worlds, which is interesting. Uh, paper. Spike. I didn't notice Dr. Decker had a paper spike. I haven't really seen more than a foot in front of me since Hannah died. I didn't want to believe him. I remember I said, you can't just say things and they happen. He laughed and laughed. Mm. I think he was going mad. He said he'd give me a demonstration. He held his hand outstretched and told me to look at the flame. There was no flame. And then there was. He was holding a flame in his hand that had come out of nowhere. And he tried to hypnotize me to make me forget it. You all saw the flame too, right? I didn't forget seeing the flame. He wanted me to forget it, to forget it all, but I didn't. For whatever reason, he couldn't undo what he'd done. I was scared. I pretended like the hypnosis had worked. Am I going? He'd become bored of me, so I got much of my insight yeah, from yeah. calls or messages he takes during our sessions. I think because he hypnotized me, he didn't want to play with me anymore, so I got basic therapist. He told me lots of people get depression, to become more active, see more people. And although he wouldn't always be there to listen, Jaya would be. The 
Yeah, I talk to her quite a lot. I'm not sure how many days of that she'd remember. She seemed to care, which is more I can say for Decker. Hmm. Yeah, let's finish up with Nathan, then we'll talk to Jaya about Nathan. I didn't forget seeing the flame. He wanted me to forget it, to forget it all, but I didn't. Whatever reason, he couldn't undo what he'd done. I was scared. I pretended like the hypnosis had worked. Uh, why were you scared? I was scared what Dr. Decker would do to me if he found out I still knew. So I had to play along. Keep coming to the sessions. Pretend I hadn't seen what he'd done. It was awful because I was suffering through the same days over and over again. But I couldn't talk to him about it because he'd know. or remembered. I was hoping he'd forget. It's gonna sound crazy. Dr. Decker said I would never be able to move forward until I came to terms with my grief. And so from this point on, I start to relive the same day over and over again until I made something of it. I believed it. Made something of it? Like I said, it takes something like a tragic event to move my day forward. I do more and more bizarre things to try and get things moving. It's a curse, like I said. Well, actually, no, that kind of... It would seem to him something tragic, but by burning Hannah's belongings and permanently moving on from her? His... It's a good metaphor for grief. Reliving the same day over and over and over again in your head. Or all the days blur together and you can't tell it. And so, you know, burning the items would be a form of moving on, of... It's drastic, but I can see what... I could see what De Decker meant. That grief can kind of make every day feel the same. think that's what they're trying to do here? I was scared what Dr. Decker would do to me if he found out I still knew. So I had to play along. Keep coming to the session. What would he do? I didn't kill Dr. Decker. I wanted to be as far away from him as possible. I don't know who did. Like I said, it takes something like a tragic event to move my day forward. I do more and more bizarre things to try and get things moving. It's a curse, like I said. I intentionally cut myself, publicly humiliate myself, I steal things, I hurt people around me, just enough to get another day to start. I ran out of people around me pretty quickly. So 
so maybe I'm wrong. Lash out of grief. Isolation. Mm, I think I might. I. I feel like I feel like I'm almost there. Like there's something I'm missing to see what they're trying to do with Nathan. I read the last few weeks of Hannah's diary a while ago. I must have accidentally dropped in some clothes for the Salvation Army bin. It's funny, because I wasn't going to read it. She said she'd fallen out of love with me. That she was going to break off the engagement. But she didn't love me. would be there. Um, when was she going to break off the engagement? Okay, maybe conspiracy theory here. That's not Hannah's diary. Because he has no idea how Hannah's diary ended up there. But it did. If we're going down the supernatural element, that's not Hannah's diary. That is a fake one created by Decker to get him to move on. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. A few weeks ago, it's still sinking in. I suppose living a lie is just the norm nowadays. My theory is that Brace was in his extra hour, found the diary, and placed it where Nathan can find it. Fair. That makes sense. I don't think Bryce likes Nathan. Bryce mentioned something about Nathan being at the dig site talking to one of the diggers and he didn't seem to like Nathan. I'm okay. Thanks for asking. It's rent day and I always feel a little blue on rent day. Rent day is the day I pay rent to my landlady. Well, yeah. Why are you blue? I pay my rent to a landlady. I don't own my own place. I'm just passing through. Passing through? I never stay in one town very long. I get bored too easily. Once you've seen the same faces over and over again, you move. Like I said before, I like to move around a lot. <laughs> to have that life. Where have you lived? No? Okay. Um, C? Uh, beach. Dancing. Club? My gosh. Um, 
You've got a good memory, Doctor. Let's talk dreams. Sometimes I'll dream about a light. Deep. In the ocean somewhere. I head towards it. Because it's warm and glowing. Like a beacon. And when I'm at the bottom, it's the most beautiful thing. Like... Like a welcoming sun. Like I'm home. And then I wake up. It's so beautiful calls me. It's like I'm in a trance. What does the dream mean, Doctor? Maybe it's not a... Mariana's dream could mean, um, mean many things. A metaphor for her current issues, searching for something, or maybe she's making it up. Yes, I suppose I follow that glow like people follow me. I still don't know what it means, though. I've had no blackouts, and I haven't been to the beach since our last session. But I think I will today. Do you want to come with me to the beach? Yeah, I think so. Do we go to the beach with her? No. Doctor, I think you're getting a little anxious. If you ever wanted to visit the beach, you can just turn up. It's not mine. She belongs under the sea. Under the sea. <laughs> Darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Uh, oh. Home visits. Dr. Decker suggested home visits. I think he was probably checking up on his investment. You're not thinking of doing home visits, are you, Doctor? Welcome back, Rap Prince. Are we thirsting over Marianne again? Yes, we are. Um, yeah, yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Dr. Decker used to put my checks on that thing. I guess someone thought they weren't getting value for money. I actually don't have a lot of money. Sometimes a therapy check would bounce, but Dr. Decker would be okay with it. Oh, my checks are fine though, don't worry. I'm not broke. Men buy me drinks at bars though. 
Sometimes I'll get away with not paying at restaurants. Isn't that how it is for everybody? No. It's not. I wish it was. I would literally let anyone buy me dinner if, if that was the case. <laughs> to be fair, I was not around for the first stream of this game. So it's again for you. Or am I just acknowledging the attractive person? Ah, okay. Lol, well, no kidding. God, I'm pretty by Emil Autumn. Should I get tough? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she is. Uh, free food. I, there was a question I did want to ask. Um, she's pretty. I'm not broke. Men buy me drinks at bars, though. Oh. Sometimes I'll get away. You don't drink. No? Okay. I think we called her out on that last time. I mainly like drive throughs I don't like crowds, and I find it difficult to stay in the same place for too long. I guess I'm a fidget. Oh, Hannah doesn't- Hannah- uh, Nathan found out that Hannah didn't love her. Him. Her Joker's great. Um... Fidget? Hmm. Crowds at nightclubs and bars are different. The lights are dim. You can slink around without attracting too much attention. Sometimes I'll kiss a guy in a club, and then he just follows me. Wherever I go, it's creepy. I don't want everyone seeing that. She is a siren. She, she, she. Interesting that you should say that. Dr. Decker said the same thing. And he's dead now. Siren. Mermaid. Do you think I could really be one? <sighs> Motherfucking breakthrough. Motherfucking breakthrough. Ah. Ugh. Oh my god. I'm so happy. I was right. I was right. <sighs> they follow me wherever I go. Anywhere. Where do you think they follow me, Doctor? Kind of reminds me of the time I obtained a conch of mermaid booty call. The hell? Don't know what that means. It depends where they follow me. If they follow me home, they bang on the door for an hour or so, then leave. Other places, they just disappear. I don't see them again. Oh, she 100% is a siren. There's no way she's not. It depends. Well, they don't just disappear into thin air. I think they return to the place I found them. But I've not run into the same person twice.
it's just good manners to accept when someone offers to buy you a drink. I'm a very good-natured girl. Oh. Is it like RL? IRL? D and D? I was playing a bard named Susura, who was in an open relationship with her lover, and was on a quest to release him from a spell. So I'm gonna turn into a horse. Oh, there was a storm, they fell over, only to be saved by some mermaids who propositioned her. Ah, uh, okay. Don't you think I'm sweet, Doctor? No. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, then. Oh, she took that personally. She took that personally. I don't think you're a sweet girl. Yes. They follow me home. They're... silent. It's like a trance. Yeah, siren. Motherfucking siren. There was one guy, a real gym buddy. I let him into the bedroom, but nothing. Nothing I did would stop him just staring at me. It was creepy. I uh, got him to follow me outside and then I just shut the door. They're in some kind of trance, like zombies, but I don't know what they want. Yeah, that... Yes, Doctor, sometimes they follow me to the beach, and the next thing I remember, I'm blacked out. And naked. Shivering in the sand. Who knows what happened to them? Yeah, she led them to the water. Yeah. I agree. 100%. Everything is pointing to Siren, and she doesn't know it. I don't think she's aware. No, I'm not thinking of doing homework. That's good. I'm not sure I can afford any more of your time. I'm gonna go talk to her. Are we still talking about him? And I thought you were just interested in me, Doctor. Yes. They follow me home. They're silent. It's like a trance. How sirens work is their song leads sailors to rocky shores so they can crash to their ships and then I assume consume the bodies of dead sailors. That's pretty much what a siren does. I was like, and then she eats them. Yeah, no, that's pretty much. That I wouldn't be surprised if that's actually what's happening here. But I want to make clear that sirens and mermaids are two different creatures. Two completely different creatures. But, um... It's clear that this game is one of the many cases that confuse the two. Um, I thought maybe they just did it for murder. Nah, I'm pretty sure they eat them. I, 
might be wrong, but... Yes. They follow me home. They're... silent. It's like a trance. I don't talk to them, they don't talk to me. Crowds at nightclubs and bars are different. The lights are dim. You can slink around without attracting too much attention. Doctor? All the time, all the energy you've invested in us? Seeing how we're doing, making sure we're growing correctly? Investments, Doctor? All the time, all the energy you've invested in us? Seeing how we're doing, making sure we're growing correctly? I read up on sirens and they do eat their victims. Yeah, that's what I thought. He called it aversion therapy. Whenever I felt the urge to go to the sea, he would do something unpleasant. I don't know what you'd call it, but it was unpleasant for me. I think that's all the information we're getting on that. Decker is a creep. Yes, he is. Decker is a creep. Shopping. Okay, that was not helpful. Sometimes I'll kiss a guy in a club, and then he just follows me wherever I go. It's creepy. I don't want everyone seeing that. I'm not a siren, it's just how some guys are. I tried it with a woman, too. She followed me. If a lot of people are watching, then it doesn't work. Then...
<sighs> I don't- I didn't want to- no, that's not what I want. Okay. Stabbed. Heart. Why would you tell me that? You like watching me squirm, don't you, doctor? Sat bed in heart. <laughs> Close enough. No, I don't like watching you squirm. Real smooth, Doctor. What was I supposed to say? Yes. And sound even more like a creep? What the fuck? <laughs> what is this game, man? Jeez. Sorry, folks. Give me one second. I'm not a siren, it's just how some guys are. I tried it with a woman, too. She followed me. If a lot of people are watching, then it doesn't work. If I kiss somebody and a lot of people are watching, they don't follow me. Too embarrassed, I guess. This game would be so much better if you could just tell everyone to sit on the couch. <laughs> oh no, I like watching her spin. Creepy. Why creepy? Creepy. I don't want people to follow me. I'm not trying to get them to do anything. I never stay in one town very long. I get bored too easily. Once you've seen the same faces over and over again, you move. I've got a short attention span. The malaise of our generation, I expect. What are you bored by, Doctor? This conversation. <laughs> at nightclubs and bars are different. The lights are dim. You can slink around without attracting too much attention. It just depends on what mood you catch me in. Mariana had me so distracted, I forgot how to spell my own name. Fair. Fair. She is very distracting. Movies? No, okay. 
I've got a short attention span. The malaise of our generation, I expect. Hmm. Also might have to do with the fact that I don't use my actual name a whole lot. Fair. That is fair. That's fair. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna make <sighs> caffeine. Hmm. I feel like on any given day, I hear my online handle more than my given name. I mean, my given name is in my online handle, so. Um. No, I'm not going to be mean and say bored of her. bored of her. Right, but Rochelle obviously isn't my name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> IRL, everyone, everyone IRL should call me Rat. I think my favorite thing with my, with my handle is when I raid people and people are like, Mia Maze. I'm like, I don't have the heart to correct you. I don't. So, I can't just go with it. And so I think there's some genuinely some streamers that I've been a part of their community for a little bit that they genuinely think I'm Mia Maze, which is really funny. And I'm like, is it mean that I don't correct them? <laughs> I don't know. Seven seconds. No, I don't think so. Sure, I will, you can call me whatever you want. I don't mind. I don't mind. It's one of those things where, like, if they wanted to come into my stream, they could. People still call you rogue. <laughs> I hate my actual name, and I've been using a nickname since middle school. Fair. I wanted to go by my middle name for a really long time. Because I thought it was cooler than my first name. And then I grew to like my first name. I also wanted to be called Dawn. I loved the name Dawn. It's definitely because of Pokemon. But. <laughs> oh god, I don't want to say that I'm bored of her. Hold on. I'm gonna cheat. Give me a second. Hold on. Uh... But, but Rouge, I just want to know if I I I just want to know if I can not have to tell her. Okay, fine. I don't want to tell her that she's boring. Oh god, I just saw playback and I that angle is not pleasant on me. I really shouldn't have that angle. Turns out I Turns out it was gender neutral and I'm non-binary. That's perfect. I went by my sister's on middle name online I thought it was cooler do what you have to lol it doesn't bother me says the mod who just threatened me with wearing bear cube on my head all night <laughs> you're so mean fine I won't cheat <sighs> R 
fish. <laughs> You should get out more, Doctor. Looking at me all day should be fun, but if you're bored, perhaps we should spend some time apart. I don't know, I'm working on it. I need to ask Jai something. Uh... I didn't really speak to Nathan that much at all, but I have this strange feeling that I know him really well. I can't quite put my finger on it. Nathan said you talked a lot. Oh, Nathan would revisit their conversations, right? That's what's why they knew each other well. Wasn't a condemnation. I haven't used any points before now, so congrats. Bear Cube <laughs> encourages cheating. No, I won't cheat. I won't cheat. Okay. Uh, let's get Elon. Elon! Up. Oh, have I already asked that? I'm okay, I suppose. Works fine. Hilda's fading fast. Terry's Terry. I feel a bit sad, to be honest. I gave all my keepsakes back. Soup. Okay, so Terry. Terry seems to have backed down since I gave the keepsakes back. Actually, it doesn't seem like she's been very well. Not her usual self. Maybe she's got a bug or something. Hmm. Hilda's nearing the end. She's been sleeping a lot, not eating much. <laughs> Me. She hasn't been that argumentative either. Although, she did give me a vicious scratch yesterday. It was nothing. I was just trying to give her meds. It's hard, you know? I'm trying to help her, but she keeps fighting me. It'll be better after she's seen her daughter. I've decided I'm going to do it tonight. She hasn't got much time left. know the answer to that, Doctor. What have we been talking about? What can I do for Hilda that will make it all better? Uh, hi, Eight String. Sorry, I had to like weirdly move my head so that I could see what who had just said hi. Hello, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Yeah. plan. I know, it sounds unbelievable, like I'm making it up. Do I wish I could prove it to you somehow. Um, we could try shifting now. Uh, think of someone you really love. It might help if you close your eyes. Are you thinking of them? Can you picture them? 
Okay. Hold on. <sighs> Sorry. I don't think it's gonna work. On the bright side, that probably means you're not gonna die anytime soon. Hold up. Who was her face? That's the plan. I know. It sounds unbelievable, like I'm making it up. I wish I could prove it to you somehow. Um, we could try shifting now. Uh, think of someone you really love. It might help if you close your eyes. Are you thinking of them? Can you picture them? I can see. Okay. Hold on. Oh, I don't get to see <sighs> again? I don't get to Sorry. see again? I don't think it's gonna work. Her face totally did a thing. Are we speaking with a psychic? No, we're speaking with a shapeshifter. Um, there is so, so many people. There are so many people in chat. I love that there's so many people in chat. That makes me happy. I love you all being in chat. Thank you for being in chat. You all are amazing. And I am so sorry. This is difficult doing like five things at once. Okay. Um, sad. Why are you sad? I know it's silly, but those things meant a lot to me. They were reminders that I'd helped those people. Fancy. Very fancy. Okay. Well, I've thought about it. And well, I know you said it was okay that I should keep them, but maybe it did look a bit suspicious, me having things that have belonged to patients who've died in my care. I don't want people to get the wrong idea about me. The locket, the watch, the ring, even the little bird Sarah Decker gave me. I wasn't supposed to mention her. I just need to be around friends tonight. No worries, Cozy. We're gonna have some fun tonight. Um, I'm gonna give everyone, since we've got a few people in chat and a few people who just joined, I am going to give a little bit of a content warning. Um, this game involves a lot of mental health issues um, and, and also some SA. Um, so I just kind of want to put a, a content warning out there since quite a few of you have just joined recently, um, and I don't know how many of you have seen the previous streams, um, but it deals, we we're dealing with death and mental health and SA, and yeah, lots of, lots of, lots of fun stuff. Lots of fun stuff. But you are always welcome here, Cozy. We appreciate you being here. I should probably bounce there. No worries, Cozy. No worries. I'm sorry that I'm not playing a... a... Yeah, it handles them okay, but uh, the pe some of the people aren't good people. Yeah, it's that's very valid, Cozy. Um, I would say... Who can I send you to? Is anyone live that I can send you? I could let me see if I can send you to someone, Cozy, if you're still here. The person we um uh raided last night, um Seb Sarf27. Let me Boop, 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 
boop, boop, boop, boop, boop, boop, boop. Yeah, they're playing Strange Horticulture, so Cozy, if you want a, a nice, like, chill stream, recommend that one. Sorry, I'm, I'm playing a game that's not a... you're back awesome all of your mental health is way more important to me than you staying for the stream if anything in this game makes you uncomfortable or is something that you cannot handle and which is valid and okay and you need to leave i will not take it personally it is completely understandable and i am so sorry for putting you through that Take care of yourselves and keep, don't try and push through it, keep, keep, how do I want to word that? Keep in mind your own personal health and, and your feelings and everything. Um, Y'all are great people and there's always another stream. last night hopefully I can actually sleep tonight I hope so I am so sorry to hear that Rouge wow yeah I hope I hope you do get some actual rest tonight that that sounds absolutely awful I'm so sorry Spring week next week though. Ten days starting off starting end of day Friday. There you go. You almost you're almost there, Rouge. You got this. 100 percent You got this. You'll pull through and then you get a nice 10 10 day vacay. You get to relax and chill and be cool and hip. It's all good. <laughs> you need to head to bed. No worries. No worries. I hope you have a wonderful stream. Or stream? Have a wonderful sleep, Rouge. Um. And yeah. Thank you for being here. Everyone give Rouge lots of love. And if you aren't already following him, please follow him. He is a great streamer and a great mod. And deserves absolutely all of your love. You're gonna stream again soon? Okay, good. Go. Wait, why? Oh, because I misspelled gaming. <laughs> Big. Rouge. Gaming. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Go give Rouge some love. Thank you. My mods are great. My mods are important to me. Okay, 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 okay. 
back to the game. Well, I've thought about it. And well, I know you said it was okay that I should keep them, but maybe it did look a bit suspicious, me having things that have belonged to patients who've died in my care. I don't want people to get the wrong idea about me. The locket, the watch, the ring, even the little bird Sarah Decker gave me. Oh, I, I didn't catch that. Her. Dr. Decker's mother. She was one of my first patients, but she died a while ago. Dr. Decker's mother. She was one of my first patients, but she died a while ago. Isn't that a conflict of interest? It's tricky. I mean, I'll sound exactly like Hilda's daughter, but I try and keep it vague because I don't become her, I don't know what she would really say. I, I say things like, it's okay, don't be scared, I love you mum, or I love you dad. But it doesn't really matter what their relationship's like because it's not really them. I always do the Disney version, the best, most loving version. That's what my patients want to hear. And maybe deep down, they know it's not the truth, but it's got to be better than the reality. Fair. Does it really matter if it isn't the truth? Isn't it worth it if it brings them peace? No. Tell me honestly, doctor, do you really think that what I'm doing is wrong? Yes, I think it's awful. So you're saying I should let Hilda die without seeing her daughter one last time? It's not her daughter. Why does it have to be worded like that? I don't know if I could do that, Doctor. I'd be letting her down. I'd have to think about it. It's true then. I'd heard Dr. Decker was stabbed, but I didn't know for sure. It's weird that whoever did it would choose the paper spike. Dr. Decker used to play with it in our sessions sometimes. You know, pick it up, handle it while we talked, I remember once, he pushed the spike through his skin. Yet this bit, here, between his thumb and his finger. He said he didn't think I'd mind the sight of blood being a nurse and all that, but actually, there wasn't any. I was a bit freaked out. At first, I thought it was a trick. A magic trick, you know? like some kind of therapeutic test. Show the patient this retractable spike and see how they react. But it wasn't. The spike was real. That's weird. Yeah, she does seem a little too excited about it. Dr. Decker gave me the paper spike to try. 
It wasn't fake. <laughs> it was pretty sharp, actually. I don't know how he did it. He said he just thought that it wouldn't hurt him, so it didn't. Hmm. As far as I know, it only works on people who are close to death. That's the whole point of it. I have to hold their hand, and they have to think of the person, and they have to be near death. And those seem to be the three criteria. So does that mean I'm near death? It just makes things complicated, doesn't it? I knew Dr. Decker's mother before I started seeing Dr. Decker. She's dead, and now he's dead. I'm sure you're gonna have a field day with it. Why would I have a field day with that? Well, it didn't really work on you, but I still saw something. Right? Blech. I've got her on a herbal compound, and St. John's wort for pain, Jinko for bronchitis, uh, valerian, uh, borage, there's a few other things in there as well, but I won't bore you with the full ingredients. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I'd have to check. I have it written down somewhere. Yeah, I want the full ingredients. I want to know if you're poisoning this woman or not. <laughs> Ugh. Sorry, I- this- this game causes- there's a lot of time of- I thought St. John's wort was for mental illness, not pain. Let me, let me look it up. Yeah, it is used for mental health. It's for depression and mood disorders. I've got her on a herbal compound, and St. John's wort for pain, Jinko for bronchitis, uh, valerian, uh, borage. There's a few other things in there as well, but I won't bore you with the full ingredients. I think. It won't let me talk, ask her about it. I think that's supposed to be a... She is poisoning them, but she doesn't know she's poisoning them. Me... Go... Uses. What did she say Jinka was being used for? I've got her on a herbal compound, and St. John's wort for pain, Jinko for bronchitis, uh, valerian, uh, borage. There's a few other things in there as well, but I won't bore you with the full ingredients. Jinko biloboa, or bilobo, bilo, biloba, Jinko biloba, 
is an herb used to treat altitude sickness, cerebral vascular insufficiency, cognitive disorders, dementia, dizziness, vertigo, intermediate claudication, macular degeneration, glaucoma, memory loss, premenstrual uh, syndrome, SSRI induced sexual dysfunction, and is a vas vasodilator? Sorry, I'm gonna watch it one more time. I've got her on a herbal compound, um, St. John's wort for pain, ginkgo for bronchitis, uh, valerian, uh, borage. There's a few other things in there as well, but I won't bore you with the full ingredients. So she's clearly giving the wrong herbs. So, okay, that's a thing. It says that she said that I won't bore you and then didn't actually know them all. Yeah, I think she genuinely is just giving herbs that are claiming to be I need, I need, sorry, I just need to hear it one more time. What's the last I've got it on a herbal compound. I know Valerian is St. John's for wort for pain. Ginkgo Orange. for bronchitis. Uh, valerian. Uh, borage. There's a few other things in there as well, but I won't bore you with the full ingredients. Borage, flower, and leaves are used for fever, cough, and depression. Borage is also used as a for a hormone problem called adrenal insufficiency for blood purification to increase urine flow to prevent inflammation of lungs and as a sedative. Our boards leaves toxic. Keep in mind that borage plant also contains pyrolizidine pyrolizidine alkaloids which are compounds that can be toxic to the liver and may contribute to cancer growth. That's according to healthline.com. I don't know how great of a source that is. skin health. So it sounds... To me, what it sounds like... Yeah, certain herb compounds can be more harmful than others, yeah. Like, I don't... So what this is, says to me is that she is just giving them cocktails of herbs without genuinely knowing what these herbs do or if they have any side effects for working together. Yeah, I think this lady is genuinely thinking she's helping them, but is actually killing them. Because now I want to know what the full ingredients list is and I want to look up every single fucking... Yeah, that's the reason I came to see him. I knew she was dying, but he refused to talk to me unless I booked a session, so I did. And well, here we are. Why did he refuse? Refuse? Why did he re 
confused. I told Dr. Decker that his mother was dying, that he should see her before it's too late. You have no but worries, Liz. He wasn't interested. It wasn't like he hated her. It was just like, it wasn't important. He asked me to take care of it for him. He did send his assistant along to see her once. Sorry, your assistant. Nothing to see here, boss man. Totally not spending my work time talking to a streamer. <laughs> uh. It was about the second, third session we had. He said he could tell that I was a good person, that I wanted to help people, and that I should think really hard about how I could do that. That's how I discovered shifting. That's the third patient that has shown that they found out about what they can do because of Decker. Is Decker causing all of this? All Dr. Decker did was encourage me to think. But the shifting, that's all me. And my mum's a psychic and my sister's an empath, but I was just ordinary. I always felt like I wasn't special, like I was missing out. But I wasn't. I just hadn't discovered what I could do yet. Sarah Decker was one of the first ones I tried shifting for. Who did you shift as? I didn't really know what I was doing that first time. I mean, I didn't actually expect anything to happen. Can she actually shape I just thought, what would something? really help this woman? I thought maybe she would just imagine that he was there. But it actually happened. I changed into him. Dr. Decker. It blew my mind. To tell you the truth, I don't really know what an empath is. I should probably Google it sometime. I don't remember the exact definition, hold on. Um, path. Empath. Chiefly in, or it's a noun, it's chiefly in science fiction. A person with the paranormal ability to Apprehend the mental or emotional state of another individual. Back, also I'm on my way home, and no, I'm not driving. Don't- okay, sounds good, as long as you're not driving. An empath is a person highly attuned to the feelings and emotions of those around them. Uh, psychic mom? You spell psychic. There it my mum's got these spirit guides and they tell her things. Mostly about my love life, it would seem. Wrong 
herbs. Duh. Okay. If I see a hint that says, oh yeah. Metabolism isn't working. I'm sure it is. At the very least, it should make her feel more comfortable. Ease her suffering. Or make it worse. <laughs> You're probably making it- why does she keep phasing in and out of existence? Oh, that's just how this game works. They just do that. That's just them walking around my thing. Sorry, I have to hear it one more time. I... I've got her on a herbal compound. Um, St. John's wort for pain, ginkgo for bronchitis, uh, valerian, uh, borage. There's a few other things in there as well, but I won't bore you with the full ingredients. Accidental poison. It's okay, I watch reaction streamers. I'm used to rewinding. Oh, it took me forever to get what you were trying to say. I'm sorry. I don't know why it took me so long to figure whatever you were saying. Yeah, that's the reason I came to see him. I knew she was dying. But he refused to talk to me unless I booked a session, so I did. And well, here we are. You're fine, Maya sleepy. Yes, Maya very sleepy. Maya should eat. That requires cooking. I'll eat after stream. <sighs> Sorry I keep mentioning that. I don't mean to keep mentioning that. Just talk, thinking out loud. Did Sarah die? I can't remember exactly. I'd only just started seeing Dr. Decker. Eating never requires cooking for me. When the only thing in my house currently is leftover pizza, and I don't like eating pizza cold. Or... Ramen. And that requires some form of cooking. I'd order in, but... Tattoo money. Gotta get that tattoo first. Not paying attention to what they're Can't saying. I can't remember at all. exactly. I'd only just started seeing Dr. Decker. Oh, that's literally all she said? Okay. Um, hmm. Dr. Decker's mother. She was one of my first patients, but she died a while ago. This is my form of cheating. I've been a nurse for ages, but I've only worked at the nursing home for uh, the last year. I tend to move around quite a bit. I get quite fidgety if I stay in the same place too long. Yeah, that's exactly what Marianne said. Sorry, just trying to do this and just actually shut my finger in my nose. 
refractive. Ah. It's okay, Rouge is gone. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Yeah, that's exactly what... that that's the same are that you're not supposed to give a patient anything that isn't on their charts but I talked it over with Hilda first and she was happy to try the herbal approach your ass is gonna get sued for malpractice wow she is so vain right that's so it's illegal. She probably thinks this game is about her. are that you're not supposed to give a patient anything that isn't on their charts but I talked it over with Hilda first and she was happy to try the herbal approach it's fine it's not gonna hurt her and the doctors at the home don't care much they're hardly around anyway it's the nurses that take care of the patients Besides, Dr. Decker didn't have a problem with it. Decker wasn't sane. Dr. Decker is not a moral compass. It's fine. It's not going to hurt her. And the doctors at the home don't care much. What if it did hurt her? Are you kidding me? Stress. I wasn't really stressed about work. Well, maybe a little but not enough to need a therapist. I just told you that because I didn't want you to know the real reason why I came to see Dr. Decker. Fruit toast, fruit toast, 100% fruit toast. Fruit toast sounds delicious. It's fine. It's not gonna hurt her. Yeah, it is. I think it might. I want that full compound list. Give me the compound. Ooh, it's cinnamon sugar because you're decadent. You're decadent as fuck. I appreciate- I appreciate your decadence. We stand decadent. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me?
for the patients. Absolutely. I'm not being big headed or anything, but I'd do anything for my patients. You are being big headed. She's got so much, ugh, ugh, itchy eyeball. I mean, I'm missing a lot, but... As far as I know, it only works on people who are close to death. That's the whole point of it. I have to hold their hand, and they have to think of the person, and they have to be near death. And those seem to be the three criteria. Probably nothing. I'm not right all the time. It's just, well, yes, your energy's different. And I was also worried about what I might change into. Hmm. Interesting. to change into. Dago is making it very hard to see with all the kisses because he's so happy to see me home. <laughs> the person you love most is your cat. She's stuck half cat person like Hermione did. Fair. Fair. Yeah. I've had a couple of bad experiences while shifting. I don't really want to talk about all that now, though. Hmm. It's probably nothing. I'm not right all the time. It's just, well, yeah. murky and sort of a bit crackly at the same time like there's a lot of electricity around you it's hard to describe huh okay very strange okay so I have a weird aura compared to the normal human. I, but also at the same time, I gotta take everything with a grain of salt because these people are not these these people are mental health patients, or at least they're seeing a therapist. It's hard to differentiate reality from whatever is going on here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Y'all have any ideas on something I've missed? Well, I've thought about it. And well, I know you said it was okay that I should keep them, but maybe it did look a bit suspicious, me having things that have belonged to patients who've died in my care. I don't want people to get the wrong idea. Just gonna keep using the hints. Why didn't you hold my hand? Oh my god, I didn't even realize that. Well, I wasn't sure if it would still work. Sorry. It's just... I get a sense that... I probably shouldn't say, but... Well... Just think what it would mean for you if I'd been able to shift. I'd be dying soon. It's tricky. I mean, I'll sound exactly like Hilda's daughter, but I try and keep it vague because I don't become her. I don't know what she would really say. I, I say things like, it's okay, don't be scared, I love you mum, or I love you dad. But it doesn't really matter what their relationship's like because it's not really them. I always do the Disney version. The best, most loving version. That's what my patients want to hear. And maybe deep down, they know it's not the truth, but it's got to be better than the reality. I was thinking about not holding your hand. Do you want me to eyeball a guide and give you clues? I'm okay with that. Um, give them to me when I ask for them. I'm okay with that. That's... Chat. When it comes to backseat gaming, if you have ideas, you can shoot them at me. If you know the answers, um... Wait to give me clues until I've asked for them. Um, yes, we are in Act 3, I believe. Um, because I have no problem with using walkthroughs. I've used walkthroughs many times on stream. And I am trying to 100% this game, so... For the sake of stream time and not boring everyone to death, I don't mind use someone using a walkthrough and guiding me a little bit. As you can see, I've been using the hints this entire time, so... Yeah. Fun. <sighs> okay. Eh. Yes. It's fine. It's not going to hurt her. And the doctors at the home don't care much. They're hardly around anyway. It's the nurses that take care of the patients. Besides, Dr. Decker didn't have a problem with it. Decker doesn't seem like the type of person to believe in herbalism, though. Am I wrong in saying that? Like... Decker gave Nathan that tablet. I don't
is tricky. Vague. I don't know what to ask. A bird? It was just a little china bird, sort of a yellowy blue pattern on it. I don't think it's worth anything. Hmm. It's tricky. I mean, I'll sound exactly like Hilda's daughter, but I try and keep it vague because I don't become her. I don't know what she would really say. I, I say things like, it's okay, don't be scared, I love you mum, or I love you dad. But it doesn't really matter what their relationship's like because it's not really them. I always do the Disney version. Sound. How do you sound like her? Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Um. Board. Ouija board. Nope, no Ouija board. No, we never got the full ingredient list. I just went off of the ingredient, the four ingredients she told me, which the uses were wrong for what she. Well, yeah, she said I don't know. I'll have to check. She didn't know what they were. it once. He said I should do what I wanted and not worry about what anyone else thought. Dekka really did like his chaos. Um, she's doing it against the doctor's wishes. It's tricky. I mean, I'll sound exactly like Hilda's daughter, but I try and keep it vague because I don't become her. I don't know what she would really say. I, I say things like, it's okay, don't be scared, I love you mum, or I love you dad. But it doesn't really matter what their relationship's like because it's not really them. I always do the Disney version. The best, most loving version. That's what my patients want to hear. And maybe deep down, they know it's not the truth, but it's got to be better than the reality. She's very self-centered. Ooh, pizza. Um, no, I, I, don't, I don't agree with her. I think the reality would be better. Hi, Hope! Long time no see! How are you? I went up like five octaves! <laughs> Small hint, there's a couple of morsels in the one that we just watched. Oh, whoa, it's been a while! Hello, Hope. It's so good to see you. I'm happy to see you. <laughs> Hi Liz, who just checked on her pizza. 
Uh, uh, small hint, there's a couple of morsels in the one that we just watched. Okay. It's tricky. I mean, I'll sound exactly like Hilda's daughter, but I try and keep it vague because I don't become her. Can I get a little bit more of a, a little more specific hint? Just a tiny bit. If that's possible. Because <sighs> this is the last one I'm on. <laughs> Type that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Nope, sorry. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> uh, sorry y'all, give me one second, I will be right back. My belt was digging into my stomach and I needed to take that off. And I don't like doing it on camera. Um. The reality is that most of these people have been completely abandoned by their families, usually their children. If a mother abandons her children, it's scandalous. But if a son or daughter abandons their mother, when she's dying after everything she's done for them. Apparently that's just normal. I can protect my patients from that. Even if it does take a little smoke and mirrors. I don't agree. I don't agree. You're, it's not true. It's fake, it's. You're tricking them. It's it's not it's so unethical. Yeah, you that's still fucked up. <laughs> like it's just so gross. It's The reality is that most of these people have been completely abandoned by their families, usually their children. If a mother abandons her children, it's scandalous. But if a son or daughter abandons their mother when she's dying after everything she's mm -hmm. done for them, apparently that's just normal. I can protect my patients from that, even if it does take a little smoke and mirrors. Abandon their parents, to be honest. Depends on the situation. <laughs> Hope, problematic fave. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, think, 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 think. They abandoned their mother, oh my god. Oh my god, this bitch traumatized and dealing with it. Good for them. Good for them. There's only a couple more questions for her. I'm pretty sure you're doing well. Welcome back with pizza! We need to stop talking. <laughs> 
Um. <laughs> Back with pizza and hope. Hope that Maya will finally finish this fucking act. Oh, God. One second. Give me one second. I just want to say something. Why does that? Why does it do that? with pizza and high hopes. Hope is high? Scandalous. <gasps> Hope. I can't, I can't complain. I can't complain. Hydrate? Okay, fine, I'll hydrate. Look, I look, ask random questions because I'm trying to figure out where we are in the walkthrough. You're like almost done with Elon. Act three, if that helps. Can't type. I'm eating. I mean, fair. I mean, fair. Teamwork. Teamwork. The reality is that most of these people have been completely abandoned by their families, usually their children. If a mother abandons her children, it's scandalous. But if a son or daughter abandons their mother when she's dying after everything she's done for them, apparently that's just normal. I can protect my patients from that, even if it does take a little Smoke and mirrors. It's like I'm a mirror and I'm just reflecting back to them what they want to see. I completely change. My face, my hair, my clothes, my voice, everything. Oh, that's it. <laughs> We're a therapist to a bunch of X-Men type. Um, add with an asterisk, possibly Lovecraftian. <laughs> Nathan is reliving the same day over and over again. Mariana is a siren. Elin shifts. Claire killed her husband and then brought him back to life. Bryce gets an extra hour every day. And Jaya is our assistant, or Jaya. Me being Native American, I can't understand how people can just leave their elderly in a home and forget about them. Yeah, I agree. It, it's, it's... It is really rough, that whole thing. I definitely don't want that to happen. I can understand assisted living, because there, sometimes you just can't take care of but yeah, like, abandoning them is... odd. Okay, so we gotta finish Claire. David was dazed and confused when I brought him back to life. As you'd expect. He was scared. He didn't want me to go near him at first. Which is understandable, as I did kill him. But I didn't really succeed in bringing him back. He wasn't a big talker before, but even monosyllabic words were more than what he seemed able to give me. I 
Native Americans stay with their elderly up until three days after they die or until they're delivered to funeral homes. Um, if you don't mind me asking, uh, what tribe are you from? I'm genuinely curious. Kiowa tribe? Is that am I pronouncing that correctly? Kiowa, Kiowa. Okay. My apologies. Um, that's really cool. That's really cool. Thank you for sharing, I appreciate that. And that's very... I know that, that, that different cultures have different ways of handling their elderly. I don't... It is very much a capitalistic thing, though, to just throw them in an assistant living home and just kind of forget about them. Um, I don't think I could ever do that to my parents. You tell me. What could possibly explain that? wanted to have a talk about our relationship. Not something any married person wants to hear. He said he'd been with Iris for about a year and that he loved her. He said he didn't love me anymore. Which I know is a lie. You don't just fall out of love with somebody. I reacted badly. I grabbed the nearest weapon I could find, which happened to be the steak knife, and stabbed him with it. There was so much blood. I instantly regretted it. Oh, really? So Strange. You work as a living? It. Like I said, I would understand, like, look, they need medical attention constantly. And. Yeah, nursing home, yeah. Like, if you need medical attention constantly, and it's just not something that you are capable of doing or providing, um, like, you know, yeah, yeah, like, oh. What? She was actually his prisoner. Bryce saved Iris? So, that's two favors I owe Bryce now. And Iris? I'd probably have stopped her death if I'd known it was real. I suppose I should have a chat with her now. Hmm. Hey! Ah, it's a recalls raid. It's a recalls raid. Thank you for the follow, Miss Config. I appreciate the follow. Hi, everybody. My name's Maya. I also go by, er, 
Maya Mays, but you can call me Maya. You can call me whatever, I don't care. Um, we are playing uh, The Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker. It is an FMV game where we play a therapist and we ask our patients questions to learn more about their backstories. Oh, hello Raiders, thank you so much for being here. I am having a good night, Recalls. I am. Not Mia Maze. <laughs> I mean, that is how you properly spell my name, though. M I Y A H. <laughs> Call her Cutie Pants McFroggy. That's gonna be my VTuber name, is McFroggy. <laughs> Um, for those of you who are just joining on the raid, um, I want to just give a small content warning. This is a game that involves some, yes, thank you, poor mental health, murder, suicide mentions, unreality, supernatural stuff, mentions of SA, um, Am I missing anything? We're, we're dealing with mental health. Um, so I completely understand if um, you need to bounce. Um, I appreciate you being a part of the raid. Um, um, and your mental health is more important than anything else. Um, I hope the rest of your stream was good, Recalls. Sorry I had to bounce so quickly. I was only on there for like, 40 minutes or something? It's heavy. It's heavy. Y'all end up keep going for quite a bit longer. Hoovy. It's hoovy. I mean, sleepy is understandable. You played a lot of, uh, uh, Phasmophobia, which requires quite a bit of concentration, so... Playing as a therapist is... yeah. It's definitely an interesting game. Um... game is so much longer than I expected. Yeah, no, it's... This is my, what, fourth, fifth stream playing this game? Uh, what happened when Decker met David? For context, David is her husband who she killed and then realived. Go for it, go for it. I'm a huge FMV fan. It's great. I think it was a mistake taking Dr. Decker to see David. Dr. Decker wanted to examine him, so they went into a different room. I wasn't worried. David wouldn't speak. But Dr. Decker seemed very distant after that. He didn't say a word on the way back. I mean, yeah, no. Um, I also recommend the um, Shape Shifting Detective. It is also by these folks, and it's another really good FMV. Um, it's a good game. Highly recommend it. Um, yeah, yeah, I did. I did play a little bit of it. I think. I don't. I don't think I ever finished the Shape Shifting Detective, though. Um, I might have to play it again on stream. Um, You'll recognize, uh, if you'll probably recognize one of the cast members then. I got that confused with this one. Yeah, yeah, there, there is a similar, there, one of the actresses, um, from Shapeshifting Detective is also in this one. Um, that's something you're gonna find very common in FMVs, especially low-budget FMVs. Um, 
they use, especially in Britain, um, they're all like the same community. So like half the FMVs use the same actors. Um, the vibe is super similar, like the lighting, the room, the ambience is really similar. I'm almost curious if this is meant to be a prequel. Because we have a shapeshifter in this game. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly. <sighs> like, I wonder if that's the big twist, is that this is leading up to shapeshifting detective. Shapeshifting Detective's cinematic universe. Yes. Um. I think it was a mistake taking Dr. Decker to see David. Dr. Decker wanted to examine him, so they went into a different room. I wasn't worried. David wouldn't speak. But Dr. Decker seemed very distant yeah, after no that. Worries, he didn't say Thank a word on the, the way raid. back. I need to watch it again because I started talking in the middle of it. I think it was a mistake taking Dr. Decker to see David. Dr. Decker wanted to examine him, so they went into a different room. I wasn't worried. David wouldn't speak. But Dr. Decker seemed very distant after that. He didn't say a word on the way back. This stand. I love that this, the only thing that triggered this one is reanimate, and it's not even about Decker. <laughs> Smuggling a body out of a funeral can be difficult, unless you pay the right people. So she definitely didn't hire Bryce. It was definitely someone else. Because Bryce had no idea. Oh my god. Hi! Recalls literally rated, like, not less than 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Hello! Hello! Thank you for the raid. Thank you for the raid. Oh my gosh. Hello, everybody. Welcome, raiders. Oh, I'm going to give my spiel again. It's been 10 minutes, but I'm going to give the spiel again. Hello, everybody. I am Maya Maze. You can also call me Maya. Um, we're playing the, uh, the Infectious Badness of Dr. Decker. Um, this is an FMV where you have a popular one tonight. Hell yeah. I will take the popularity and run with it. I heard recalls came in, but I was still bringing the party over. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I really do. I really do. Yes, content warning. Um, uh, Rat Prince just put it in chat, but I'll read it out for poor mental health, murder, suicide mentions, unreality, supernatural stuff, and discussion of SA. Um, Thank you so much everyone who's joined the raid. If you do not feel comfortable with this content, I completely understand if you want to just log off for the night. Um, your mental health is more important than anything else. Um, so thank you um, for being a part of the raid and for being here. Thank you again, Chesterfield. Much appreciated, much love. Um, uh, yeah, so, and thank you, Beer Man, for the uh, follow. Everything happened at once. It was crazy. <laughs> Couch raid. I love it. I love it. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, overwhelmed. This game is pretty heavy. Um, so sum it up essentially of course of course no thank you i really appreciate it um to sum it up we are a therapist um we are currently giving sessions to former 
patients of a Dr. Decker. We don't have a first name. Um, Dr. Decker has been murdered. And the police think it is one of his patients. Um, so this is the third set of sessions. Um, how this game works is you type in keywords and questions um, to receive video clips um, with more information about that person, their problems, their case. Um, to sum it up super quickly of just who everyone is, Jaya is our assistant, and these five are our patients. Bryce at midnight, the world stops for an hour, everything freezes, and he has an extra hour to do whatever he wants. Claire has murdered her husband and brought him back to life. Elin, she can shapeshift, kind of, um, for people who are near death, to for them to see a loved one, essentially. Mariana is a siren of some kind, and Nathan, she, she blacks out and shows up randomly on beaches naked, um, and Nathan is experiencing something similar to Groundhog's Day where every once in a while the day will repeat and he has to figure out he has to do something drastic in order to stop it from repeating I think he's a my theory for him is he is a big metaphor for how we handle grief um so yeah so how this game works is like you ask these questions you get clues and there's kind of three segments there's the red dot means that you haven't found enough. The yellow dot means that you've found enough key points that you can move on. And the green dot means that you've found everything. I am a completionist. We are finding everything, if we can. Yeah. Chat, have I missed anything in my explanation of this game? If you sat through all of that, you'll do great sitting through this game. <laughs> I did pretty good? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And with that, we will jump back into the game. <coughs> this game keeps pulling shit out of nowhere. And it is fabulous. It, I actually really love how this game is written. talk to David about you're saying that my David would speak to Dr. Decker but not his beloved wife I don't think so doctor you killed him and even if that were true what would he say what would he tell him help me get me out she's she's a murderer <laughs> that's that's essentially what he would say if he could beloved wife Blech. not even <sighs> okay what she was actually his prisoner Bryce saved Iris so that's two favors I owe Bryce now. And Iris? I'd probably have stopped her death if I'd known it was real. I suppose I should have a chat with her now. She isn't really a beloved wife if he was in love with another woman. Exactly, exactly. Um, chat with Iris? What? Would you talk to Iris? Nah. 
It's hard to do it because my mic is right here and my keyboard is in front of my mic. Ah, so it's hard to type. Who are this about? No? Okay. What am I missing? I also have two lovely human beings in chat who are looking at walkthroughs and who will give me hints when needed. Would she really save Iris? I can't tell if you're just giving- yeah, it's not gonna let me. I, for a second I was like, I can't tell if you're just giving me answers or if you're just giving it- put, putting out ideas. Ah, sorry, just adjusting my phone, which is what my chat is on. <sighs> Hello, Cowtrade. I'm trying to help without actually asking the questions needed. Ah, smart. be blatant. I don't think you would have saved Iris. Nope. Okay. What? She was actually his prisoner. Bryce saved Iris? So that's two favors I owe Bryce now. And Iris? I'd probably have stopped her death if I'd known it was real. I suppose I should have a chat with her now. probably would have stopped her death if I had known it was real. Oh god, I'm clearly missing it. <sighs> I don't think she would have. You're getting tired of everything. There was something there delicious go. about the idea of getting revenge on Iris by having Dr. Decker kill her. But I'm not wicked. I beg to differ. I beg to differ on that one. I, I beg to differ on that one. Did you re David was dazed and confused when I brought him back to life. As you'd expect. He was scared. He didn't want me to go near him at first, which is understandable, as I did kill him. But I didn't really succeed in bringing him back. He wasn't a big talker before, but even monosyllabic words were more than what he seemed able to give me. Sorry, I'm gonna watch that again. David was dazed and confused when I brought him back to life. As you'd expect. He was scared. He didn't want me to go near him at first, which is understandable, as I did kill him. But I didn't really succeed in bringing him back. He wasn't a big talker before, but even monosyllabic words were more than what he seemed able to give me. Days. 
there, dazed and confused. He made sounds. I could understand him a bit. I thought he'd improve with time, like a child learning to talk, but he didn't. It's only recently that I've come to that conclusion that he's not going to get better. He's not going to be right again. I think it's his brain. At least he is safe where he is. At the lake house. He doesn't move from there. For good reason. What's the reason? He doesn't move from there, for good reason. I'm sorry, Your Honor. What I meant to say is that David never leaves the vicinity of the lake house. I think his hunting would be severely restricted by trying to do it from the kitchen window. Rude. essentially what this game is. Trial and error. <laughs> I could continue on. <laughs> That's right, you better refer to us as your honor. Hell yeah. 100%. I will take your ass to jail for the murder of your husband. Because I have a feeling you're just gonna kill him again. Because... Blah 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 Hmm. Why doesn't he leave the lake house? I have this image of David wandering around like a zombie asking for brains. Not game related, just funny. <laughs> brains. Brains. <laughs> Something? David is the one, yeah, 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 Chase, David is the one who started hunting after being reanimated. Why hunting, of all things? David hunt before... Re reanimated. No, okay. Do 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 do. At the lake house, he doesn't move from there for good reason. of him I took after he came back. I'll bring it in next session. I thought David was supposed to come in with you next session. Mm -hmm. 
David shouldn't be alive, so you can't just stroll around the neighborhood. It's unseemly. I did think he'd be able to rejoin society at some point, but not anymore. He's getting worse, not better. Yeah, we did ask. Worse. We did ask, and she said that she would bring him in. Where's how? How is David getting worse? Um, slightly. David shouldn't be alive, so you can't just stroll around the neighborhood. It's unseemly. Unseemly, sorry. I did think he'd be able to rejoin society at some point, but not anymore. He's getting worse, not better. I'm gonna head out for the night. Have a great rest of your stream. I got you tabbed. Thank you, Chesterfield, for the raid. I really, really appreciate it. Have a wonderful night. I hope your stream went well. I meant to ask you about your stream. I am so sorry. i sorry I didn't ask you about your stream. I should have asked. I think I was too caught up in the fact that I just had two raids, one after the other. Um, but uh, I hope your stream went well, and then have a good night. Did she say that she would bring him in, or did she invite you to... No, she said she would bring him in. Um, Do you see David here? No, Doctor. That would be ridiculous. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Zombie David. Zom... Zombie David? Zombie David? David wanted to have a talk Zombie about David. our relationship. Not something any married person wants to hear. He said he'd been with Iris for about a year and that he loved her. He said he didn't love me anymore. Which I know is a lie. You don't just fall out of love with somebody. I reacted badly. I grabbed the nearest weapon I could find, which happened to be the steak knife, and stabbed him with it. There was so much blood. I instantly regretted it. So I fixed him. David was with Iris for a year. Okay. You tell me. What could possibly explain that? to get you. Can't remember the line. My apologies. <laughs> I don't... So it looks like we've got three things left. Perhaps I missed his vital organs. Perhaps by some strange freak of nature, he only appeared dead for a week and needed no food or water. Though there was an autopsy, so it's not likely. I think he was definitely dead. Fair. I'm trying to make this game not so dark. Fair. That is, that is also fair. It is all, it is all very, very, very fair. Uh. Hmm. Give me one second. I'm gonna go. Yeah, moodless. I'm gonna be right back. 
gotta go do something really quick. I'll be back. Hello, I am back. Thank you so much for your patience. I really appreciate you all. So yeah, so... Smuggling a body out of a funeral can be difficult. Unless you pay the right people. Hmm. How is smuggling a body? questions we've asked Claire already. I'm crossing them off as we revisit. Maya said there's only a few couple left. Yeah, there's... Okay, I guess I'll go down the list. So, I've asked how they were. I've asked about the arrest report. I've asked if David's dead. Arrested for murder. Um, how is David alive? Neighbor? Blood? How could you have a funeral if David isn't dead? Did you intend to fatally wound him? How did you fix him? Did you resurrect David? Zombie, what were the results of David's resurrection? What problem do you have? How can I help you? Yes, you are a killer. Which patient is a, was a pallbearer? Do you know anything about the paper spike? How do you know Bryce? No, you weren't temporarily insane. <laughs> what did Decker want? 
What girl did Decker mention? What changed Decker's mind? Yes, I would like to see David. Um, hold on. Very well. In our next session. Oh, she didn't flat out say that he's going to be there. Okay. Um, are you lying about never seeing Decker outside of our sessions? Did you speak to the girl at the lake house? Fish? Is David not human? Um, is, is it David's ghost? It was in the heart? Bedroom window? Drawer? Anyone else see David? Bryce Freed? Iris? What happened when Decker met David? What did Decker talk to David about? Probably stopped David or Iris' death. Dazed and confused. Is David safe? Does David... David doesn't move from there. Did you reanimate? I think it's supposed to be David, not Decker. Um, can you prove he's still alive? What good reason? Did you help Iris? Unseemly. And David survived. That was probably not helpful going through all of those that quickly, but hey. David wanted to have a talk about our relationship. Not something any married person wants to hear. He said he'd been with Iris for about a year and that he loved her. He said he didn't love me anymore. Which I know is a lie. You don't just fall out of love with somebody. I reacted badly. No worries, have a good I grabbed the nearest weapon I could find, which happened to be the state. The steak knife was the closest, sharpest weapon I could lay my hands on. I didn't really have much time to think about it. Were you eating steak? The steak knife was the closest, sharpest weapon I could lay my hands on. I didn't really have much time to think about it. Okay, it was in the dining room, okay. You probably have to word that question right. But not having too much time. Why didn't you have much time? I didn't plan to kill my husband. It was a spur of the moment thing. What is it with men and affairs? Is that why they have a short to average lifespan? 
possibly. What am I missing? Oh, it's this one. Smuggling a body out of a funeral can be difficult, unless you pay the right people. Pay the right people? Uh, who did you pay? Unrelated, you can spell funeral without fun. Also, I can't spell funeral. <laughs> yep, that sounds about right. <laughs> that sounds like the stream. Um, was Bryce the right people? Smuggling a body out of a funeral can be difficult, unless you pay the right people. <laughs> Bryce said David was heavy. Um... Who... Are the right people? Yeah, no. Although that one's a good one. That's I think I've done that. I may have accidentally done that one a few times. Hmm. Hmm. Can't find the question related to that clip. Shit, fine. I know it's a good one. Everything I suggest is good. Sure. Oh. Bryce said he didn't smuggle David's body. Bryce didn't smuggle David's body. Bryce, ah, ah. Bryce. Well, that's what he would say, isn't it? Yeah! Okay. Okay, now to Bryce. Okay. Dr. Decker frequently used that paper spike on his desk as an example. I'm sure he did it with the other patients too. He'd make me look at it, touch the point to see how sharp it was. He'd tell me that because I think it's sharp, it will hurt me. But if I thought it was nothing, it could pass right through my hand. Okay, okay. Elin said the same thing. Okay, okay, okay. I'm starting to see all the connections. So Elin said the same thing. It passed through Decker's hand without drawing blood. In the last couple of sessions I had with him, he put the spike through his hand. Mm -hmm. He'd be grinning at me while he was doing it. No blood, no nothing. Yeah. He tried to make me do the same, but I wouldn't.
Would you tell Jessica I love her? She didn't really know me that well, but I did love her. And also, there's a hard drive in the bottom drawer of my drinks cabinet. Please destroy it. Please, don't look at it. What's on the hard drive? There's a hard drive with all the pictures I've ever taken on it. The one in the bottom drawer of my drinks cabinet. Don't let Jessica see it. You're a gross human being. Whatever it is that's following me, it doesn't want to catch me yet. If I move towards it, it runs away. And when I follow it, I follow it past temptations. A bar brawl, an open till, an open bedroom window. Like, it's testing me. I think that I'm becoming a good person, Doctor. I'm ashamed of some of the things I've done, but I'm getting better. The hooded figure, it's testing my morals, judging me. For what, I don't know. Yes, this is where the content warning for um, essay comes in. Thank you, reference. I removed the chains, dressed her, and sat her in the police station. There's no evidence, though. No evidence of what he'd done. But she was free. I saved her. I'm not evil. I destroyed evil. No, you're still a shitty human being. I don't often see auras, Doctor, but yours is unusual. Like, you're more than one person. Maybe I've had a few too many drams. I'd been feeling uneasy with Dr. Decker for some time. I mentioned how he'd changed before. So I began spying on him at home. One night, the basement door was open and Decker was returning upstairs. I skipped past him and there she was, a girl. It was difficult to tell, it, it was dark and she was chained. Is that where this is going? Is am I Decker? Am I Decker shape shifted? Like the the line of you seem like you're more than one person makes me think that this is Decker. That I am Decker. Like if we are also a shapeshifter or like a new version of Decker. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think Decker, okay, so according to Bryce, Decker said that if he believes that the paper, 
paper spike won't hurt him, it doesn't hurt him. How come it hurt him? If we're going off of that logic, I don't think Decker was actually stabbed. Or that wasn't Decker that was stabbed, that it's someone else. I believe that Dr. Decker was a truly evil man, and so should you. I know you record these sessions, Doctor. I'm not going to be filmed saying I wanted him dead. But I did, and so should you. And Doctor, if I wanted to kill anyone, I'd do it in the midnight hour, wouldn't I? And when was Decker murdered? But also, it's too easy for you to be the killer. It's too easy for you to be the killer. I'm sorry. That's just... I'm actually a classically trained pallbearer. Classically there trained? There are a lot of health and safety considerations. Not everybody can do it. Mm -hmm. Well, properly at least. Occasionally I step in if the funeral director is short-shouldered. I do remember her face. She wasn't upset in the usual way. She seemed agitated. Her husband must have been a giant, the coffin was so heavy. I remember, because aft port side sprained his ankle. That and he wasn't lifting correctly. Uh, oh, where do I start? Claire... Uh, agitated... I put my hand through a rusty nail at work today. It hurt like hell and bled like I'd been shot. I closed my eyes and thought, this isn't happening. The nail is just a worm and it will wriggle through me. When I looked back, can you guess what I saw? A worm? My hand had healed. The nail had become a worm and was wriggling in my palm. It was like a little miracle, like magic. Hmm. Yeah, so with that logic, a rom, with that logic, I shouldn't really say miracle or magic. They're words that Dr. Decker used when he tried to get you to think things and make them real. But do you think it's real, Doctor? That magic is real? And so it isn't. I envy you, Doctor. I wish I could be so sure. I'm actually a classically trained pallbearer. There are a lot of health and safety considerations. Not everybody can do it. Mm. No, I've never killed anyone. But then, even if I had, I'm not likely to tell you about it, am I, Doctor? I don't know. You seem like a pretty open book for the most part. I 
I've put my hand through a rusty nail at work today. It hurt like hell and bled like I'd been shot. I closed my eyes and thought, this isn't happening. The nail is just a worm and it will wriggle through me. When I looked back, can you guess what I saw? saying this but also yeah let me be filmed saying this I don't know who it is my initial thought was that it was you that I told you about my affliction and, and somehow you'd got it too now I think maybe it's the military or some organization that wants to use the hour themselves maybe it's Dr. Decker risen from the dead I need to talk to you about him. talked about that. Iris Iris is the girl's name. The girl who was chained in the basement. Her name is Iris. How do you know that? Not that it means anything. She wouldn't remember me anyway. Time was frozen. The girl who was chained in the basement. Her name is Iris. How do you know that? Not that it means anything. She wouldn't remember me anyway. Time was frozen. Had Iris... There, had Iris... For... Claire? I had no idea there was a connection between those two. Wow. Behind closed doors, eh? Oh, okay. Decker risen from the dead. Sometimes Thank a you, grave I've dug becomes undug. People blame it on grave robbers. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe the grave was undug from the inside out, not the outside in. Only a grave digger would know. Or a forensic scientist that can see that the way the ground is would indicate upward motions instead of downward motions. I'm sure you can tell by the way the earth is that you're going up and not down. I removed the chains, dressed her, and sat her in the police station. There's no evidence, though. No evidence of what he'd done. But she was free. I saved her. I'm not evil. I destroyed evil. Talking about, I don't know. Oh gosh, this is weird. Hmm. Huh. 
<laughs> have you been spying on me? I never spied on you at midnight. But if you start acting strangely, maybe I will. I didn't need an extra hour to realize Dr. Decker was strange. I'm going to ask that as well. Did you spy on Decker after finding the girl? Nope. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, shit. I find using nautical terms to describe the position of Paul Bear as fitting. Plus, most of them are three sheets to the wind. You know, drunk. When I looked back at my hand, it was healed. Look, see? Did you get did you get a tetanus shot? It was a rusty nail. You should still get a tetanus shot. Jessica is a beautiful woman. I've not spied on her since the incident we talked about. I have real feelings for her, Doctor. I just we've never connected. Cause you're a creep. You are a creep. I can't believe I'm gonna ask say this. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. It's nice you think I'm capable of such basic interaction with females. I mean... But I'm still in awe of her, really. I will think about it, though. You're still a piece of shit. You can go in a hole. You can go away. It's still gross. I don't care if you've... I removed the chains, dressed her, and sat her in the police station. There's no evidence, though. No evidence of what he'd done. But she was free. I saved her. I'm not evil. <laughs> I destroyed evil. No, I didn't feel lustful, Doctor. I was angry. If I had taken pictures, there would at least been some evidence. A sicker man would have taken pictures and saved the day. There we go, that was the last one. I had a feeling that's what they were, when they said no evidence, I was like, oh, did you take photos? Because you have a tendency of taking photos of vulnerable women in your midnight hour. No, not at all in my experience. Dr. Decker had an unusual number of patients who claimed psychokinesis. Either he'd been specifically looking for them or someone had been sending them. That was a strange thing to say, wasn't it? Whipped. Am I all whips and chains in the Whipped. bedroom or dominant in the boardroom? Don't answer that, it's not a question. It's early days for a harassment suit yet. What with Ben's nervous shock already. Dr. Decker did send me to see his mother once. She was dying in a nursing home and he didn't want to see her. I remember him calling her we a did. manipulative evil old hag. 
We tend not to ask any more questions after that. Honestly, I think Dr. Decker had a bit of a crush on Mariana, or vice versa. I'm not really sure. There's some footage from their home sessions if you want to see them. Yes, I would like to see this footage. That was a joke, Doctor. I guess we found our level. <laughs> Okay, okay, cool. So, Liz is the one with the walkthrough right now? Cool, got it, thank you. Much appreciated. Sorry, I didn't mean I was competing. I was happy Mariana was going out with him. I didn't want to be romantic with him. We had a stronger connection than that. Give me a starting point. What did Decker and Mariana do on their date? Oh, we talked about that already. No, because I misspelled her name. I have no idea what they did and when they did it. I'm happy to keep it that way too. I don't believe you. Yes, Dr. Decker started doing home visits for Mariana. He said she couldn't concentrate properly in his office. I hope you're not thinking of doing the same thing. I need you right where I can see you. I'm fine. I'm ready for my grief counselling. I emailed you Mariana's address. I don't know why you'd want it. I suppose you're going to start doing home visits now, like Dr. Decker? Okay. No, I've already talked about that. What am I missing there? Doctor, if you don't want it, don't text me and ask for it. It's all right. I don't mind doing me. I didn't want Mariana's ad address. No, okay. Um, shall we have talked? Oh, have we talked about her? We've talked about her grief, yeah. Can we talk about grief today? In Cult of the Kinetic Mind, the author suggests that everyone is capable of psychokinesis and that the cult... Sorry, Doug wants attention and I can't think straight. No, you're totally fine. You are all good. How can cult leaders turn followers into disciples? Followers and disciples have a very strong tie to their cult leaders, almost like they've been brainwashed. The author suggests that this is because they've witnessed some kind of psychokinesis, like pyrokinesis or telekinesis. 
Okay. No, not at all in my experience. Dr. Decker had an unusual number of patients who claimed psychokinesis. Either he'd been specifically looking for them or... Most of the patients you're seeing have claimed some kind of psychokinesis. If you don't think that's the case, then they just haven't told you yet. Yeah, it does seem like most of them do. Okay, I gave up. I'm back on the walkthrough. I lasted all of five minutes. Are you frustrated that I can't handle- that I can't do this? <laughs> Somewhere around the time Professor Alderby turned up, that seemed to unsettle him. And then we had a flood of extra weird patients. I think it was all too much for him. I think I misjudged him. I hope you deal with it better. And... Did... Decker... Do... Ho ah. Home... Visit. It's... Or any other patients. No, as far as I know, Mariana was the only patient that Dr. Decker did home visits for. Okay. Slowly but surely. I'm fine. I'm ready for my grief counseling. I emailed you Mariana's address. I don't know why you'd want it. I suppose you're going to start doing home visits now, like Dr. Decker? You're fine? No, oh, okay. I've asked about the address. I've asked about the home visits. In Cult of the Kinetic Mind, the author suggests that everyone is capable of psychokinesis and that the cult leaders specifically had these powers that turned their followers into disciples. It's not a fun read, but if you're into psychology, it's a blast. Yes, psychology. I think you'll find it's relevant, Doctor. <laughs> hmm. Somewhere around the time Professor Alderby turned up, that seemed to unsettle him. And then we had a flood of extra weird. Somewhere around the time Professor Alderby turned up, that seemed to unsettle him. And then we had a flood of extra weird patients. I think it was all too much for him. I think I misjudged him. I hope you deal with it better. Judge Decker? There's just a lot of crazy flying around, Doctor. Don't catch any of it. <laughs> Title of the game, honey. Title of the game. Yeah. No. Well, 
Well, maybe someone sneaked your phone during a session and texted. I know they all look innocent, but if it's not nailed down, there's a good chance they'll walk away with it. You know, I used to have an iPad. And a surface. All right, cool. We're finally done. Yes, I'm done. You can stop looking at me like that. You've made me do this. Do what? I don't try and escape. We're all tied up. What the fuck? Now tell me the truth. Is this a dream? What? I, 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 I don't know. Yes. That's a good doctor. Yes, it's all a big dream. So let's get down to business. Do you believe that people can have kinetic powers? No. I think you like it when I hurt you, doctor. That's a worrying sign. People obviously have kinetic powers. That's how I'm here, testing you. Now, how do we treat people with kinetic powers? Do we encourage them or do we discourage them? I should encourage you. Oh, doctor, how disappointing. We've been through this already. Encouraging them to use their power just makes them worse. That's what Dr. Decker did. Look at him now. I thought you were different. Oh, I thought we'd get on, but I'm wrong. Enjoy your sleep, Doctor. There's someone else in my hour. I brought David back to life. I removed the chains, dressed her. It was Iris. We could try shifting that. Would you like to see David, Doctor? <sighs> Sorry. We both read The Cult of the Kinetic Mind, and that broke. It's no coincidence that most psychokinetic patients are grateful if you could see your way to declaring me insane, or at least temporarily insane. There was no flame. And then there was. I'll kiss a guy. I pretended like the hypnosis had worked. And then he just follows me. Can we maybe not talk about Hannah anymore? Wherever I go. He may just still pull out in front of the driver. Huh. Morning, Doctor. You're looking a bit unwell. Are they getting you all wound up? Well, have a look at this. I found it in Dropbox. Apparently, Dr. Decker lent Mariana some money. Sounds dodgy, doesn't it? I also got the toxicology report back from Officer Yates, and shocker, Dr. Decker had... Sorry, you just have to read it. I should have spoiler alert tattooed on my forehead. And can we not do the grief counselling thing today? I'm all sorts of behind on work, and I'm getting more stressed out watching it all pile up. If you need anything, though, I'm here. What dream was that? Jay, I think I should tell all the patients I can stop their problems. Perhaps I should avoid her till later. That's some fourth wall breaking. Alrighty, toxicology report. Ethanol. Temazepam. Ethanol and temazepam. That's the temazepam's the name of the drug that he was trying to get his patients to take. Ethanol.
Yeah, I was about to say, isn't that just in alcohol? I was double checking. I didn't want to say it and and Oh, these are the different types of alcohols. Oh, okay, I missed that. I missed that. I didn't see the acetone and the isopropyl underneath. Yeah. Uh That is a cocktail for sleepy. Loan agreement. By signing this agreement, the borrower agrees to accept the sum of the loan amount and 15,000 pounds? Jesus. And to repay the loan amount in full within this term stated. The sum of the loan will be transferred to the lender into an account designated by the borrower within 14 days of signing this agreement. It is agreed that the loan should attract no interest, and in lieu of accruing interest, the lender has agreed to the payment of the arranged fee, which is due before the transfer of the loan amount, which is one pound. The lender also agrees to consider the loan repaid in full should they die or become subject to any power of attorney agreement as long as this event occurs within the term of the agreement. Oh, that gives Mariana motive. That's, that's 20 grand USD. Shit. That, that gives her motive. You owed a shit ton of money, honey. Honey. <sighs> Alright, I think with that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the stream. Yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Oh, we're getting there. <laughs> of course. Holy shit, this game. End on Hot Siren Lady, hell yeah. Eat too many hints. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, we, we went over the 420 mark. Um, but yeah, um, if you're still here, um, from either of the raids, uh, please consider following if you enjoyed today's stream. Um, thanks for the stream, I really like this game. I, I'm gonna continue this tomorrow night. I, I'm just, I'm on a roll here, I'm really enjoying this. Um, it'll be a little bit earlier tomorrow. It'll be at 6 p.m. PST. Um, but yeah, uh, please consider following, um, or subscribing, or both, either one. <laughs> um, you can, do, do, do. you can follow me on a lot of platforms, all of them on the link tree that's currently in the, uh, chat. It includes my Twitter, my Instagram, um, and the Discord, um, where you can recommend games to me. Uh, I really appreciate all you being here. Um, I know Chester and Recalls, I think, are no longer in chat, but if you are, thank you so much for the raids. I really appreciate y'all. And yeah, thank you so much for a great stream. Um, give me one second. I'm just gonna see... No, you're not overhinting. Oh, are we overhinting? Like, there's, like, is the game gonna yell at me at the end for using too many hints? I think, I don't think the game would yell at me for using too many hints. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh no, we would chat. No, you guys are fine. You guys are fine. I appreciate the help. If anything, I would just. I don't know if the game yells. <laughs> well, I appreciate you all being here. Thank you so much. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful evening, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody.